that, you know, Friday night lights turned into a daytime game day here at Memorial Field in Federal Way because the lights don't work. Now, usually this stadium is packed full of people. It's loud. There's a lot of energy here. But you know what? Tonight, fans are still showing their school spirit here at the stadium as crews work to fix and repair those wires that were stolen. When it comes to Friday night lights at Memorial Field, Federal Way High School students say there's nothing like it. It's loud. Uh, everyone is participating. Everyone is joining in with the people that are trying to get everyone up, and it's, it's very fun. Fun they'll have to experience in the day since the lights won't turn on. Federal Way School District says thieves stole wires from its lighting system yesterday. Students say the sunlight changes the game day atmosphere. I think that it might not be as loud. It might not be as energetic, I think. I think people prefer it for it to be at night. People are kind of just disappointed, but I think it should still be fun. Federal Way is one of three cities targeted by wire thieves. Kent and Edmonds were also hit. Police in those two cities say thieves stole the wires for the copper inside. French Field in Kent was hit Wednesday. The district's electrician fixed the wires right away. Thieves cut wires at Edmonds Stadium last Friday, causing that football game to be canceled and reschedule other sporting events. Maintenance at Federal Way is working to find out what repairs are needed to get these lights back on and how much it will cost. The district says it hopes to have everything up and running again by Monday, Day or night, students say it doesn't stop their school spirit. Go Eagles. <laughs> So the third quarter just started here, and the score is 40, 24 to 0. Federal Way Eagles are up. So maybe this early game time is some good mojo for this team. But you know what? In all serious, in all seriousness, police say copper thieves and wire thieves are hard to track down. So they are encouraging anyone who sees or hears something suspicious around these stadiums to give police a call. For now, reporting live in Federal Way, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News. All right, great information.